Hey guys, it's Smith, and today I'll be showing you how to use the symmetry tool within Procreate 5. So within this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set the guides up and then at the end we're going to do a little illustration using the symmetry tool. So the symmetry tool allows you to draw on one side and for it to be mirrored on the other side. So for this tutorial we're going to be drawing a front portrait but to start off with I'm going to show you how to set the guides up. So on the layer that you want to set the guides upon, click the little spanner on the top left, make sure you're on canvas and then check drawing guide. Then you're going to click on Edit Drawing Guides. So at the bottom right, you're going to tap Symmetry. This is where you set the guide up, as you can see by this line coming down the center. It can be moved around depending on where you want to reflect. For this, I'm just going to keep it in the center. And at the bottom here, you have different options depending on what type of symmetry you want. Whether that's vertical, horizontal, or even radial. For this, I'm going to keep it as horizontal. At the top here, this is where you can change the color of the guideline, depending on what colors will be on your illustration. And then at the bottom here, you can adjust the brightness and the thickness. Once you're happy with it, you can click done. So as you can see, the guides have been set up and you can tell it's been set up by when it says assisted underneath the layer. For this, I'm going to be selecting a studio brush. Just as a quick example, just to show you. As you draw on one side, it mirrors live on the other side. So for this, to start off with the portrait, and we're starting off by drawing a curved line on one side for the face. I'm just going to edit the line a little bit, just so it forms a smooth curve. Then I'm just going to join the top of the face up. So I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to drag it underneath the face. I'm going to tap on it and click Drawing Assist. This puts the guide that we put on the other layer on this layer too. So anything I do draw will get reflected along the same line of symmetry. So I'm just drawing a neck as you can see. And then I'm just going to adjust the line a little bit. And I'm going to close off the shape so I can fill it by dragging the color from the corner to the shape. Just moving it around the canvas a little bit to give me a bit more space. So now I'm going to add a little bit of shading, having the light come from the top left create a new layer and then select clipping mask. I'm going to use one of my texture brushes, choose a darker colour than the face, just increasing the brush size and I'm slowly adding shading to the bottom right. So now I'm going to do the same for the face, I'm just going to add a layer click clipping masks and then again shading the bottom right of the face gradually adding more pressure the closer I get towards the edge of the face so I'm just creating a new layer clipping clipping masks just to add a bit of reflective light coming off the right hand side of the face just a little bit just so it's close to the edge now I'm going to add some glasses to the face. Again, select the new layer and click Drawing Assist. Choose my studio brush and then I'm just going to choose a green for the glasses frame. Just increasing the brush size a little. So I'm keeping my stylus on the screen and tapping with one finger to snap it to a circle. Good thing with the symmetry tool is how it shows you live what it would look like on both sides. It's very useful when you're doing stuff like this. I'm 
I'm just erasing the edge of the frame. So now I'm going to add a little drop shadow as the light's coming from the top left. I'm going to duplicate that layer by sliding it to the left, clicking duplicate. And then on the bottom layer, I'm going to move it down and right a little bit. I'm just going to adjust the opacity by reducing it, tapping on the little N and then dragging the slider to the left. Now to make this a little bit more convincing, I'm going to blur the shadow layer that we just made. What you have with that, I'm just going to raise a little bit of spillover on the right. Increase that a bit more. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to create a new layer. Realize I just need to move it all down a bit. Just to give me a bit of space to illustrate the hair. Yeah, I'm happy with that now. So for this, I turned off the drawing assist, just so I can do an asymmetrical fringe. So I'm just going to fill it in by dragging the colour from the corners to the shape. I'm going to make sure the shape is always closed for this feature to work. So I'm going to create a new layer and drag it to the bottom. I'm going to add the rest of the hair. So again, tap on the layer, drawing assist. Feature's good when you do want to draw smooth lines just by keeping your stylus on the screen. And again, I'm just closing the shape up so I can fill it. Now I'm just going to add a bit more shading to the hair. Again, remembering that the light's coming from the top left. So I'm just adding the shading with a light underneath the fringe. Now for the glasses, again, new layer, turn it to a clipping mask, then we'll select a darker green, just making it a bit more darker, and then adding the shading to that side of the glasses frame. Now for the hair, create a new layer above it, select the clipping mask, and now it's using a darker purple. Remembering that the light's coming from the top left. So on the fringe, create a new layer, select clipping mask, and it's going to add some shading to that side as well. Now to add a bit of a highlight, I'm on the back layer again, adding a new layer, selecting clipping mask, now selecting a lighter purple. Just going to add a highlight to the left hand side of the hair bit to the bottom and then I'm going to add a bit of reflective light to the right hand side as well. The symmetry tool does come in useful when you are doing stuff like this where you need a mixture of things that need to be symmetrical and things that don't just by switching on and off the drawing assist. So I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. If it was please let me know in the comments below. Go check out my Instagram and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.